Hola! Good morning, Math Buddies! Welcome to our Math Exciting and Math Amazing lesson for today. Before anything else, everybody please bow your head and let us pray. In the name of the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Okay, my right, buddies, let me check your attendance first, and kindly please say present if your name is called. Mm -hmm. wow. Nobody's absent, huh? Very good class! Matgali! 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 Okay, so our last topic is all about reading and writing numbers from 1,000 to 10,000, right? We're going to have a short review and I'm gonna show you a few flashcards that I created yesterday. And you need to identify and read it together with your class. First number... Very good! 19,540. Second number. Great! 75,136. For the third one. Nice! 64,727. And for the last number. Great job! 96,375. Matli, matli, matli. Very good, much buddies. To so our next drill activity before we proceed to our next topic, let me show you this box. We need to find the missing numbers, each row, and I'll give you 15 seconds to think of your answer. After that, we're going to analyze it. Great! It's time to analyze how did you get these answers. The first row, you can see that the last digit number, which is located in ones, it's ended in one. In the third column, it's ended with three. In the fifth column, it's ended with five. So the pattern is one, two, three, four, and five. Let's proceed to the second row. Great! The second row in the second column, you can see the ones ends in two, and the thousands is four. And the fifth column, ones is five, and with the thousands of ten. The pattern in the thousands place is two, four, six, eight, and ten. Well, in the ones place, it's one, two, three, four, and five. Let's proceed to the third row. Great! The third row in the first column is 5, in the third column it's 7, and in the fourth column it's 8. So the pattern is 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Let's proceed to the second to the last. Great! The fourth row in the second column, tens and ones is 69, while in the fourth column, it's 71. So the pattern will be 68, 69, 70, 71, and 72. Let's proceed to the last row. Wow, great job! 
the fifth row in the tens is one, while the third column tens is three. So the pattern is 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Okay, so you all know, remember, and you're already familiar with the places of numbers. Okay, my buddies, our next topic is still about reading and writing numbers, but it's already up to 100,000. Don't worry, my buddies. We're still on a thousand and we're not yet in a million. Okay, does anyone in the class know how to read and write numbers up to 100,000? Did you do advanced reading at your home? Oh, nice! That's great! Because some of you did advanced reading yesterday at your home. Okay, so let's start with our math exciting and math amazing lesson for today. Okay, so there are a few steps that we need to follow in reading and writing numbers. The first step is you must separate the digits into periods. Okay, so let me read this for you. This is 7, 80, 300, 6,000, 9,000, and 100,000. You should know the proper place value of each number. And you don't need to add S letter when reading numbers. It's not like 100 thousands. No, the correct way of reading is 100,000. The second step from the left, read the number formed by the digits in the thousands period followed by the name of the period. So you must read first the thousands place to hundreds, to tens, and to ones. Like this example. 31,000. The last step is to do the same with the units period without saying the name of the period. For example, 76,587. You don't need to read it manually, like 70,000, 6,000, and so on. Instead, you read it in full. Please take note, but bodies, that zeros are not read when they are used to hold the place value of non-zero digits. It's not like 11,000 and 0 and 83. The correct way of reading this is 11,000 and 83. Standard forms or numbers written in numerical form or digits. For example, plate numbers, numbers in the calculator, the number of your house, and dates in the calendar. On the other hand, when the number is spelled out in words or written in words, it is in the word form. For example, we can see it in check vouchers and other important documents. Matgaling! 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 It's practice time! Fill in the blanks, number edition. I'll give you 10 seconds to think of your answer. Number 1, blank, thousand, five, blank, 81 Great! 31,581 The second number 97 blank 100 blank Ninety-seven thousand one hundred thirty. The third number, blank thousand, blank hundred, blank. Nice. Fifty-six thousand seven hundred seventy. Next, let's translate this number from standard form to word form. Number one. Nice! It's 93,542. Number two. It's 42,637. Number 3. Great! 
Nice! It's 53,165. Very good, my bunnies. Let's try to read numbers together. When reading a number, always begins with the digits in the first period on the left and say the period where the digits are. Do the same with the units period without saying the name of the period. Number 1, 57,001. Number 2, 13,500. And number 3, 76,587. Matkaling! 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 Now, let's practice to transform numbers from word form to standard form. Remember, we write the numbers the same way they are read, starting from left to right. And to write numbers up to 100,000 in a standard form, we use space to separate the digits into periods or group of threes, starting from the right. The first number. 13,520 Second number, 73,915 In writing big numbers, we can use a comma or space to separate the digits into a groups of three. We can do this by counting three numbers from right to left, like this. One, two, three, and comma. Numbers from 21 to 99 are hyphenated words except for 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. Trivia time! Did you know that 4 is the only number that has the same number of letters as its meaning? F O U R. It's only 4. Matgaling! 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 It's quiz time! Stands up, papers up, let me see your happy face. Stands up, papers up, let me see your amazing face. I will give you 10 seconds to answer each number. Write the following missing word numbers. Number 1. Second number. Next, for our third number. And for our fourth number. And for the last number. Time is up, math buddies. We can check now your quiz. Number 1 is 10,683. Number 2, 37,979. Number 3, 98,262. Number 4, 12,331. And for the last number, 16,744. Wow, math buddies, you did all great job. Oops. Anyway, don't forget to copy your assignment and we will check it tomorrow. For your assignment, the blank of each sentence, write the following numbers in singles. Are you done, Math Buddies? So this is the end of our Math Exciting Lesson for today. And if you want to clarify or ask something, please raise your hand. That's great! Since nobody raised their hand, I'm glad to know that you all understood our Math Amazing Lesson for today. Keep us in mind, the best way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. That's it for today's lesson, Math Buddies. See you on our next Math Amazing and Math Exciting lesson. Goodbye!